Hi, so this video is for uh, creating a scenario in C Sharp. So I'm going to use this DoneTheDeal.com website and Visual Studio Express Edition 2013. So let's see the scenario which I'm going to automate. This is the e-commerce website which I created for demo purpose. Here we'll add the phone, click on the link to add in the cart, go to the cart. And once we click on the go to cart, it will appear the message will verify. Uh, look like it's from my previous session. So we'll try to clean this cart first, then I can show you what I'm going to, trying to use that. So let's go to the cart, remove the item from the cart and let's go to the shop. Um, once we'll reach there, we can see that uh, nothing into the cart. So let's go back to the shop again. And um, first scenario, we'll actually click on this link, go to that link and then add to cart this will give you a message that um, item has actually added into that so item was successfully added to the card we'll verify that and once we'll verify we'll go to the view card and verify that any item in this page and then go back and then close it so this will be the first scenario second scenario will be again going to the shop adding another item uh, like the next item is knife so we'll add that item and then verify uh, look like uh, still from the previous session so let's close this and go to the shop uh, click on this uh, knife set to item add to the cart and then once we'll go to the cart we can see that item actually added into that so it's a kind of same as the previous one but two items and you can verify whatever you want to on this page so not a big deal um, you can add into the code so let's close this and uh, start working on the actual code how you are going to so let's open that uh, we'll create a new project let's create a new project and select the unit test project as the first project name it to the something like a shopping cart or something it's up to you as per your strategy your test plan so open that uh, you can see that there is a one um, cs file unit test one dot cs this is a test this is test class and in that test class contains all the test cases that is under test methods so let's have uh, another test method which i can uh, have and i can write another test case into the test method so um, you can build it once you build you can see everything into the test explorer window let's build it uh, look like i duplicated so let me rename it and then once i'll uh, rename and then again build i can see those test cases into my test explorer and these are the method where i actually write my actual code so here you can see that i can see all those test methods here so let's rename the whole file into a logical name about the scenario what kind of scenario i'm looking for and uh, let's see what i can think of we can put some name like shopping cart or something verify shopping cart and you can name whatever you like to it's up to you as per your test plan and it will rename the whole thing and now you can rename the method as well like add phone and uh, verify shopping cart and same way you can rename the other method uh, some other name like add knife or something and then once you build again you should be seeing the updated name into the text explorer let's see that let's build and uh, wait for things to appear yep here you go now if you um, you can have all those scenarios into two methods we'll have one more method that is with attribute test initialize that test initialize is the method with uh, which attribute which actually runs just before the test method so every time when your test will run your test method will run it will actually run test initialize first and then test method so initialize test method one initialize test method two so in that you try to open your browser every time in every instance you don't want to repeat and write code every time into one code duplicate kind of thing so 
you will separate out that thing into another test attribute called test initialize and you have verification code one here in test method two you'll write another test verification code and so every time uh, before running verification code it will run test setup so we'll have another test attribute called test cleanup that is just after the method so the order of test would be uh, initialize test method cleanup initialize method to cleanup so we'll uh, in this uh, method we'll try to will uh, close the browser every time after the execution of our scenario one and scenario two so the order would be test setup method one method two and cleanup now since we are going to run a um, UI test selenium so we will add selenium into the project for that you go to reference right click on that add go to nougat and search for selenium once you search for selenium you can find number of option available selenium web driver selenium web driver support classes you can see all the latest since we are going to run on chrome so we'll use the chrome as well so search for chrome so you can find all those things install it and install the web driver as well and web driver support file you can see that exe file available into that um, project file in our solution so we have everything here we'll add the reference into the namespace into the code so using openqa.selenium.chrome right now we are using chrome so we are chrome otherwise you can have your own option like firefox opera whatever browser you like to use so right now we are using chrome so that's why i used choose chrome so now you can add selenium and selenium support files support uh, libraries so we don't need right now for the scenario i mean for this tutorial but just add it for just like that support and now every time you want to start the browser so let's have some kind of driver available um, available every time so i can have a global variable kind of so I have public variable i i web driver driver and since url is our test url is going to be the common available throughout the test so I have a string base url and that is done the deal dot com done the deal dot com okay so that will that variable will be available across the class so this class variable and then we'll have driver as our browser so navigate to we'll call navigate to then go to url and we'll call this url and we'll go to uh, our cleanup and try to close that so to close we have driver dot quit so if you run this test it should run uh, open the browser run this test and the quit that uh, let's run it oh some error null point object reference not set to an instance an object oh i missed the driver thing to initialize my bad so before uh, doing any operation over the browser i have to open the browser so driver uh, i start that um, a new instance of chrome driver so i say new uh, chrome driver cool so again save it and run it ideally it should open the browser and close it okay open the browser open that url awesome and then close it same thing again with another test okay cool so we are so far so good so now uh, we'll write uh, actual code into that we'll go to the browser open the url and find the link where i want to click so to get the link i need to get the code behind the scene to inspect element and get the code whoever used ide they must be knowing what i'm trying to do so here i'll go and find the code behind it i'll get the link where i want to click i get and copy the css path and i use css path to click so let's call the action driver i'll find the element how i'll find i use css so i use css selector i'll provide that css selector here once i'll find the element it will click so to click that i'll call the click okay so now i can go back and put my locator and 
once I put the locator uh, I want to check it so for that I'm going to put a pause just a hard pause hard wait so just for trial so just ignore it why I'm using it for now so well, let's wait for four seconds and then run the test start the test and it will open the browser should click the link okay done the deal nice okay so it's clicked on that awesome so now we are good so this is what the step is and the new test will start again nothing will happen here just close that okay so now we our job is to find the code and add into that the same pattern I am writing the code I will go and uh, use it here I have code available in the same pattern uh, so I'm going to add the code directly here and it's not different code it's just if you click the if you see the code it's very pretty straightforward you can see click the first is actually the same click which I did in the previously so click on the phone description and this will click on the on um, add to shopping cart next line is like next line you can see shopping cart mm, comment okay not chart it's a cart okay so second was to verify the message on the top that it's added into that that we can use xpath instead of css selector and next message would be to verify if that message uh, to click on that to proceed on that go to i mean navigate to um, cart and then again wait for one second okay this hard code i just put for demo purpose this is not recommended you can have your uh, dynamic wait time you can refer intrinsic and extrinsic uh, wait time in selenium document you can use that one so on the other page i am using uh, getting the text out of that header and using um, assertion to verify the text the assertion this assertion can be anything up to you whatever you like to verify i am verifying the cart so let's save it and put a breakpoint here we'll uh, run in debug mode and this is same thing the other item for the knife I can use that so let's move it to the another code let's have that and change the item so I need to click on the second item and second item is product number 33 so once I'll run this one it should run again with the knife same code will repeat for the knife and for the phone let's run it let's see what it how it behaves so phone add to cart nice verifying this cart thing you can verify whatever you like to you can put assertion same way with knife okay so this time knife okay everything repeating uh, so now you can verify whatever you like to hear and then close the browser awesome so you are done for that uh, let's you can run that same code in debug mode as well so both are the same and if you like you can see that for uh, say what else I can think of okay so you have all your test case you can easily navigate from here yes from here you can easily navigate if you want to see you want to verify directly from here you can open that uh, number of option to run that test you can run in debug mode for debug mode you can put a breakpoint go to test and in test there's an option debug you cannot see the recording I believe but you can uh, run on debug mode this will reach here like first rest if there is no for kitchen oh there's no breakpoint for that but for other test I have a breakpoint for the phone yes so once you'll open the phone it will stop there and then from there you can go step by step let's wait for the browser to start and it's pretty straightforward you don't need to 
um, worry about I mean you can create your own libraries methods to perform the task okay for knife okay now I stopped here so now you can do you can go a step through that a step by step that's all okay cool so if I'm not loud enough use headphone or full speaker you can hear that uh, this is what the video is I do speak a little fast so you can slow down the video speed and then watch it if you like the video like the video uh, under this video uh, write your comment your feedback is very important because that's how I can improve so I'll keep on updating uh, more videos so thank you for watching and keep watching subscribe to the video thank you very much